Welcome back to the Game Master, Master the Freak Master here. Welcome back to the Mega Man X2 Let's Play. Last time we defeated Wired Sponge, Flame Stag, and Crystal Snail, along with the second Mat X Hunter. Now it's time to head to Bullcrab stage. One's roll to face both Bullcrab and the last X Hunter. As we're nearing towards the end of the X, the, the X2 Mavericks. Yeah, so it's what you got quickly. Well, this is my favorite musical theme in, in in terms of all the Maverick stages. That's not really saying much because I'm not really, I'll be honest with you, I'm just not really a big fan of this game's soundtrack. That's not worth it. I got the lies, I'm fine. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm done because I got, I did do some little bit of a E-Tank grinding. I, only, I think I only need one though. Now we're going to get you ready. Because you are going to be important to take out this asshole right here. And this guy you have to defeat. I think I think they defeat him, right? Yep, I guess I did. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. So pretty much, it, it pretty much gives access to, out of this area, and that'll be important for later. But right now, before we get too further, because we might make sure if you don't beat him, you don't have, you won't be able to get to the get to the X Hunter, which sucks. So yeah, beat him pretty much. That, that that's pretty much the quick way in doing it. But before we get to that X Hunter, there's, there's still a thing we gotta get over here. I I that heart tank up there. Or first again, we need the wall jump precisely under here. It'd be a, need to be a dash wall jump. So you can get enough speed and momentum to get to the, that floating platform in distance. So, probably the tip tippies top and did not quite make it, unfortunately. One more time, I do it. Come on, all right, uh, right here. There we go. Okay, and we just used to go up here. Get the next hearts curve container for us easily. Now, unfortunately, we can't get the second thing quite yet without Bubble Crab's weapon, and huh, wouldn't you guess it, we're in Bubble Crab's stage. Whew. So, uh, yeah, you can, see, you, see the problem, you can see the problem here. But there's plenty of jellyfish to do. See, it's, it's up it's up there, but unfortunately without Bubble Crab's weapon, we can't really get it. And there's a sequence way to getting it, and I don't know how to do it, so... It... Fuck off. Alright, uh, let's see. Ooh, what? This is not the place to be. Oh, okay. Alright, alright. Problems up. We got it. It's fine. It's fine. It's cool. It's whatever. Alright, so we're not going in there. We're going over here instead. And there, correctly, there is a robot right about here. Is that now? And now it's about the robot Surges. Who's probably the hardest of the three. I am Sergis, and I cannot allow you to stop the uh, unification. And yeah, he's, these birds are hard because of that freaking shield. That and also that is attack, the mind attack, and also just keeps jumping around like an idiot. Uh, so, well, this is, yeah, pretty much, yeah, he hits hard, and I don't remember exactly what his weakness is. I think it's, I think, I think, I, pr I think it's Snail's, oh, not Snail's, uh, uh, Warth Moss weapon, which we do not have, unfortunately, so. Damn it. Alright, now's no, now as good a time as I use that energy tank. <laughs> this was also so many fucking close with these freaking mines do a lot of damage. And that shield, if I'm, if I'm, I think I read correctly, that it hits every time you fire, you fire shots. Damn it! Fuck! Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta grind. I'm gonna go grind some weapon energy real quick. Alright, round to ya, motherfucker. I'm ready for you this time. Uh, I will be careful though. One thing I should say about that cloak over there is that it can't, if it does hit you, that does do, do, do a cheap amount of damage. Not that you get too concerned about, but like, one like, just says. 
Cut. Cut. We're doing it, aren't we? Just. Alright. So, yeah. This boss fight is hard. Just, there's just too much to avoid. Problem is. Even if you take it slow and play patience with it, it just. There's just too much to avoid. That's why I think this boss fight's probably the easiest, either with his weakness, which I don't fully remember what it was. I think it might be the Sonic Slicer thing, but I think the, I think the Charge Shot is just better for the situation because it does... Actually, I might not even need one. Actually, hold on. Can I do this without using an empty tank? Uh... Yes, it did! Holy shit, I actually did it without an empty tank. You have merely me delaying the inevitable. We will already meet again. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, buddy. And with that, we got the third piece in Zero's collection. We have saved Zero. So, which means the only thing we're missing out on is, is an optional boss fight against him, which, I mean... <laughs> we don't need to fight Zero. Do we really need to fight him, our buddy old good old pal that helped us against Vile and only Vile in the last game? Anyway, Bullcrab. This guy is... Not probably the, probably the second hardest, or maybe I don't know. I, I didn't really try it with the thing. I'm not, I'm not gonna bother trying it anyway. I I think just doing with his weakness is with the spin wheel in the situation. This does a job just fine enough. Though it might be easier to take his eyes took took too much help too much damage from that freaking surgery fight. I know, I think you're, you think you're clever, aren't you? I really don't want to, but it's just... Damn it! Okay, yeah, I probably should have. I probably should have played safe. I thought I can get away with it, but no. I, I, took, too much, I took too much damage from the, the Surgeon's fights. I should not have. I should have, could have, but didn't. Oh well. Not at the end of the world, I'm not crying over it. Just, you, think, you think at this point, I'm trying to prove myself to be any better than mediocre? <laughs> at, this, at this point, I already dug this, this hole for myself. I'm just going to see how much further I can keep digging it. And maybe there's just no place to go. I'll just find another place to dig then. <laughs> just start digging somewhere else. I mean, keep, don't need to keep digging the entire... You don't need to keep making the same hole the entire time. They missed them. Beautiful. It'd be nice if you can just come back to me, spin wheel. That's the what's the main reason why I don't keep using the spin wheel a lot, because you only shoot one at a time, and it takes for fucking ever to get back to you. Oh, he's going to use his weapon. Interesting. There we go. Now he's dead. You're dead, all the axe hunters are dead. Everybody's dead. Everyone's just dead and lying on the ground. But you know what? I'm still here. As far as I'm aware, there is nothing that can that can harm me further. Because this point further, I've pretty much beaten the game. <laughs> and yes, I did yes I I Kane, I fixed my buddy old pal zero. I can try to re reactivate Zero to help, but I need more time before you can reinstall his control chip. Try to slow them down. Don't. F no, good luck. That's all. Wait, really? That's all I got. Tommy Kane. Jeez, that's awful as awful as can get. But anyway, like I said, there is one thing you do need to get from Bubble Crab Stage that you can't get until you get his weapon. So I'm gonna cut till we get to that spot where we need to use it. Here we are in this location, so as you can clearly see, I don't know why I switched to Crystal Snail for some reason, but here we are. Uh, we're back in this, back pretty much after you defeat the fish guy, you get up to here. 
free up your bubble weapon as such. If I can reel up real quick, that'd be nice. There it, there it is. And of course, we're going to charge up real quick. Which now you can now jump in the water and out of water get this E-Tank. And that's exactly what you need to get here, and that's about all you really need to worry about. So let's move on. It's just... Two and an hour fun. Two and an hour. Two, probably the last of the two at Maverick Hunter Cup we have to worry about. First being... I mean, you can do... I can do any two in any order, but I'm doing, I, I just do Morph Moth first. Because... One, you get the last Light Capsule here. At least the one... Uh, not secretive Light Capsule left. And two, because, I mean... I, I do think Mana Centipede is probably the hardest without his weapons, so... It is open to summons to be the Silk Sock... Sh silk Shots, which is what we get for Morph Moths, so... Yeah, I gotta do this first. So what do you have to do first to get of our first weapon here is we gotta freeze this guy with, uh... The Crystal thing, which I want to get this extra life, but also this Heart Container. Why? And you do need it, because you're... Let, let's side for getting that something. There is no other way to get that thing. Also, here's another secret, which the game tries to expect you to have use the helmet here, but for one thing, nothing here really tells you to use the helmet to find a secret, nor has nothing here tell you to use a spin wheel to get it. So, welcome to this cryptic as hell, and probably those cryptic light capsule up to this date. May I let you see a couple defense words. Megamind X, enter the capsule. This enhancement will modify your body armor. With it, you can absorb damage to, to transfer it into explosive weapon energy. Yeah, thanks, yeah, thanks for making it short of this hell, Dr. Light. <laughs> Whatever. The only reason why I know about this is because, obviously, I, <laughs> I, I test plus played it. If I didn't, I probably would not have gotten it, but... I now we wasted the Giga Crash. So yeah, pretty much just not only gives us double, double D armor, but also gives us this powerful Giga Crash, which... The only way you charge a nap by a bad boy is get hit by projectile weapons. Now to be fair, there are plenty there are plenty of those that go around. Uh I mean, that's still kind of an efficient way in using it, but whatever. Whatever. I'm not I, I honestly I, I I'm not probably gonna use it anyway. It's not really that useful. I mean yeah, sure it does a lot of damage when you use it, but like so does your double charge shots and Like, no joke, double charge shot is all you really need to end the game. But now I have the first of two mini bosses, which is the same mini boss, but different each time. This moth creature takes takes control of this robotic junk person. And here's how you do it. First you gotta beat with the first you gotta beat it with uh, the metal guy, then you gotta spray it with bubbles. If I can hit it, that'd be nice. And just get out here one more time. There we go. Let's try this again. There we go. Okay. I don't know why I was struggling from the get-go, but whatever. Be the, there we go. That's one, that's, that's one down. We, we'll send to tell us we won't be... That'll be the last time we're seeing those fly guys. These guys move for enemies. We don't directly hurt you, but they'll take control of you and make you do things that are beyond your control. By the way, that weighs the... Never conjure in case you get one over here. Alright. Let's keep this train dry rolling. And, th and those are the oddest occasion where the spikes do not hit one hit KO you. They hurt. No, they for sure hurt, but they're not one hit KO obstacles, which is odd to say the least, but I mean it's whatever. It's just I mean, actually, it's fine for me, but, like, you just say you want to, like, switch stages because you just, because you don't feel like pressing the exit button for whatever reason. <laughs> even though, te though, technically, you can't really use it. And, and, okay, fuck, okay, so you can clearly see that now this mop guy has taken control of me, uh, he's forced me to jump. Which, I mean, really doesn't do much of anything here, but it's, it's annoying. Uh, I, don't, I, I mean, I, I, I mean, I would prefer not to jump there, but, like, it's not really harming me, it's just more... Aggravating me. Alright, that's pretty easy. Get it all good all ready to go. And booyah, okay. Moving on. 
Oh wait, it's a uh, yeah. I mean, I didn't really need it, but hey, more of hey, a bar Baron's a boss fight fully healed than not. So. Very well prepared to repair, so hey, just gonna bump that rush out of you. And and hey, he and morph mode for here is weak to the flame stag. Or oh, sorry, the flame spin or spinner or whatever you want to call it. And this is the weirdest maverick where he got where he has two forms. One, he's in his cocoon. Just swinging back and forth, hoping for one day to be born born to beautiful butterfly. Instead, only realize that moths are actually not that not that great people. Okay, yeah, he also has two attacks. Pretty much, she can I latch latch in the air and just start tossing shit at you, or he can just start right in the ground and start tossing tossing shit at you. And here, just take here. Just don't worry about it. at this point because you're probably the double damage thing. Just take the hits. Like, there's no point trying right? dodging. You have more enough health and enough energy tanks at this point for following following along what I'm doing. You know why would you do that? Because unless you really don't like backtracking, which I do not want to keep doing backtracking, so here we are. <laughs> anyway, he transforms this moth form, which really is the only thing to worry about is a pollination. He just triples down on you. And after hitting with a spin wheel enough time, or something with a flame spinner or whatever enough times, so he eventually falls down and dies. And yeah, that's pretty much that. That's pretty much uh, Morph Moth right there. Now the government gets his weapon, the silk thing. And I'll show you a little something, something here and there in a second here, but we got one more Maverick Hunt, Maverick the Beat. Magma, Magma Centipede. Oddly enough, not, not in a freaking um, volcano or anything like that. In fact, it's more of like a play in a magnet or something like that. Oh, that was really familiar. I wonder why. So why do I have this weird feeling that I'll be seeing this room again? It's the weird, it's the strangest feeling. I just don't know how exactly to translate it. So the gimmick here is that there's spotlights. If you get hit, if you catch one, one it will at least security. Not that I care at this point. It's just as I have enough damage to keep going. All right, so we're here. And now for our first secret, we're we're even required to use the flame thing. So we're just gonna charge it up. And yeah, you pretty much use it as a giant midair dash, which it, which goes for much longer than your actual midair da dash. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> and with it, we can finally get the final heart container, which is right up there. That's it. No more heart containers for you. You are pretty much built and ready to go. All right, and be careful here because this option can crush you. And you can only, and unfortunately, can only destroy the. Sort of the purple ones, or pink, or whatever color you want to call it. Magenta? Yeah, let's go with that. Magenta. Magenta. <laughs> okay. And now for secret number two. The last energy tanks. So what we're going to do is we're going to flame up again. Jump in the air, and jump and dash, and just wall jump your way to victory. Now, if you're, like, if you're a boss like me, the, the self-proclaimed boss, that is, you'll get that the first try. I can guarantee you that we're not getting the first time. And also, more wireframe graphics. And I don't know this guy's weakness, so just uh, charge Buster. All I know is that you call him in the hilt. Which is the blue parts, pretty much. And also, look at the cool graphics we can use here. He surely got me. He surely got me. I shot the wrong fucking direction. Okay, cool. Uh, you will spin. Yeah, this guy isn't really hard per se. It's just more. Yeah, you can close the ear. I don't like most, and you can only find once, which is. I mean, I'm not even sure what it is. Just a random sword. Could it perhaps be. Nah, I'm probably looking deep, deep too into it. At this point, just full the victory. Here we got a little bit of an area where it's kind of difficult to get through, but just keep pushing through. You should be able to get it just fine. And there's Maverick Hunter, uh, X Hunter fight, in case you manage to get him in this area. And now for the elevator sequence. Oh, no, sorry, no elevator sequence. A little bit of an boss. So depending on how many times you get caught in the stage, it gets a little harder, depending. 
Which really doesn't really translate to much of anything, because this guy is not that hard either. No matter, no matter how many times you get caught. At least that's what I believe. A little more of what I've heard. I could be wrong on that fact. You feel free to fact check me, but, uh... Yeah, just make a bust for Mal. I mean, he does a lot of fucking health, which pretty much means he gets to get caught a lot. But I'm not too worried about that. Alright, and now we're pretty much warding. Warding. Oh, wait, flew in the yeah, act. Forgot about fucking that. Yeah, don't try to bum rush it because no matter what you're gonna try to do, you're always gonna be caught by things. Don't try to bum rush it. Just, just wait, pick your time, be patient sometimes. Sometimes it pays to be patient. Just keep on dashing. And there we are, okay. Now for the button, now for the Maverick fights. Get my thing ready, which is uh, the silk thing. I just to make sure I got it correctly. That's spin. That's the spin wheel. <laughs> Where is my silk shot? There we are. And this is the primary weakness for Mr. Magnus Centipede over here, who's probably the most annoying Maverick to fight because he has one thing about him: he can teleport. And also, I can also I can just launch on the on the on the room roof because of course you can. And even better, he can he can teleport multiple times. Pick a fucking location, mates. For fuck's sake. Really, it's just more it's just more annoying because it prolongs the already long fights. Also, it's proven the case that X2's bot Maverick fights are, also, are pretty garbage. <laughs> Not saying X1 were stellar, but like, they didn't, like, they didn't, like, it wasn't that the. the ah, okay. It's not like the Mavericks in X1, majority of them anyway, didn't pull on the fight. <laughs> like, the, regardless of the weakness or not, like, the, most of the Mavericks in X1, outside of Armored Dill, let's say, are pretty fun to go through and fight. Here, though. Only a couple, only a couple are like that. Being overdrive, overdrive, uh, overdrive ostrich because you can actually get a fight regardless of what you do. But of course, you always get a bunch of wheel gators, magnus centipedes, wired sponge, or just like they're not hard; they just take for fucking ever. <laughs> One of the biggest knocks I have next against X two, because I actually like this game's level design a little bit more compared to X one. But uh, I'll get that more in that talk in the next episode. Because now I defeated Magnus Centipede, and that's that's the last of all the sort of all the Mavericks of the War about. And with that, we got every energy tank, we got every light castle, at least except for one in particular, and we got every heart heart container. And also every zero piece as well. And with the final thing, the magnet the magnet mine, we can we can we can talk to King once more. Mega Man X, I've located the X Hunter's base. It's at it's at a air it's at a raid location zero zero. That's right at the North Pole. You're gonna be I'm gonna be Santa Claus. You best believe it. Roger, Roger, Dr. Dr. Kane. I'm on my way. <laughs> Even though I'm right here. <laughs> it will take some more time to reactivate zero. Stop them down, Megman X. I do what I can. But before we, before we go deal with those Maverick Hunters at the North Pole, which I guess is fitting because this is around Christmas time I'm doing this. There is still one location left. One more thing I want to show off. I'll cut, to, cut real quick. 